Hey guys, Todd here again with TW Home Show. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna to share with you a little bit more about the SwitchBot curtain. The motorized curtain install I did on one of the last videos. And I bought something else to go along with it because I found it was highly needed. Because one thing I noticed is you can't make all the curtains open and close all together when you have three different windows like this, three different sets of curtains. Even if you give it a combined routine command within Alexa, it's still, maybe you'll get two of them to work and one of them just never works. And I don't know, it just can't handle uh, three different switch bot uh, curtain sets at one time in one command. So what I did, this is a must have. I went out and purchased the switch bot switch. And these things are very responsive. So I got uh, three of these. I got two at first and I mounted them right on the side of the bed here. So when we come in uh, to our bedroom, if we want to open or close them, we've got a button for each open or close on this SwitchBot switch and it works really responsive. Let's show it to you right now. I'm going to go ahead and open the middle section. I mean, that was instant. So I'm going to show you today, we're going to go back to my studio office and I've got the third one and I'll show you how easy it is to hook these up. Stay tuned. And we're back. All right, here we go. Here's what you get. SwitchBot remote. Not much to it, but they come in really handy for the SwitchBot curtains. These will only operate within the SwitchBot app. They are not Alexa compatible, so you can't make routines in Alexa for these or anything like that. Only within the SwitchBot app. And from what I've found out, it looks like they have only work with the SwitchBot curtains or the SwitchBot little uh, bot with the, uh, with the automatic arm lever. So I've got one on my coffee pot, one that activates my security gate out front, and one that operates my projection TV to turn it on and off. So I could program one of these to operate any of those switch bot bots. So, but I've got three now. This is my third one. So I can control each set of curtains for each uh, three windows in my bedroom. So we're going to go ahead and hook one of these up, pair it to the SwitchBot hub and see how easy it is to get started. So let's see what we get in the package first. And there's not much to it guys. Just a user manual, which you won't need that if you watch this video. And then you've got your little SwitchBot switch. And you've got some sticky sided uh, Velcro tape, which I use to stick on my bedside. And we're going to go ahead and unwrap this. It's got a protective film coating over it. So unwrap it. And it does say in the manual to go ahead and remove the battery compartment. Just get this little lever, open it up. There's your battery and there's a little protective uh, sleeve in there that you need to pull out a tab so go ahead and pull that out from underneath the battery so now it makes contact and it did beep there and we're good to go now we're going to go ahead i'm going to open up the app for you so you can see and follow along as we go ahead and pair this to the switchbot hub this is my switchbot hub you're going to be you're going to need to be near this. I just pulled this out of my master bedroom, brought it into the studio here so that we can pair it. Now you might have a switch bot hub like I do also that I have in my garage for my gate switch bot. And uh, that's a, uh, looks like a little mini cloud with uh, RGB lights inside. Either one of these are a uh, hub for switch bot. Either one will work. I just grabbed this one. It was close by. So just make sure you have it with you when you're trying to pair your SwitchBot switches. All right, let me get the uh, screen up here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and open up our SwitchBot app. And we've got our little SwitchBot remote. 
Now I already named my other two mid for middle, middle remote curtains and RH remote curtains for right. So this is gonna be named LH remote curtains once we get there. So first you wanna go ahead and uh, tap the plus sign in the top right corner of the app to add a device. And we wanna look for the switch bot switch. Oh, it already found it up top. If you look up at the top, scanning for Bluetooth devices. So once we pulled that little protective sleeve out from underneath the battery, it's in uh, activation mode now. So there it is. I'm going to select remote at the top left corner, which is this remote. And start pairing. Long press both keys for two seconds until LED light starts flashing. Then tap the next button. Okay. And hold these for two seconds. There's the light on the back. I'm going to select next. And there it is, remote six. We're going to rename that to LH remote curtains. Location info. Okay, bedroom. Okay. And then select the next button at the bottom. Bingo, it says. All right, we did it, guys. That easy. Select OK. And there it is. Top left corner, LH remote curtains. Go ahead and select that. And you'll notice it's got two buttons on here. One's got a concave in it, so you can tell the difference from which side, side to side. So I made the concave one as open on my other two. So that's going to be open, and the other side of the button is going to be closed for the curtains. So the concave one we're going to select first at the top here in the app. And we're going to select left curtains. There it is. It's, it's picking those up. Select left curtains. And the concave one is going to be fully open, which it's set at now. And I've got it set in performance mode, so that means it's going to, uh, the motor is going to activate quickly. If you select that, you can select silent mode, which I have on automated uh, schedules for in the morning time to open up slowly and also in the evening time within Alexa routine. But I'm gonna select the performance mode because usually when you press that button, you want something to go right there. So, and it's gonna fully open. Select the check mark in the top right corner now. And it's gonna load that, okay. Now it's set. You can see left curtain slide to 0%. And we're gonna select the other side of the button, button number two. And we want left curtains again. And then we're going to take the slider here and slide it closed. And we're going to keep it in performance mode as well and select the check mark at the top right corner. There we go. We've got our settings and uh, we can back out of the app now. And we're ready to go, guys. So let's go in there. I'm going to take my label maker. As you can see, I put labels on here. So I'm gonna uh, put an LH on here and then I'll meet you back in the master bedroom. We'll try them all out. All right, and we're back and we're gonna try out the SwitchBot switches. And we got Mr. Harley Davidson joining us today. He's looking for squirrels out the window. That's his favorite window to wake up to and look for squirrels in the morning. We're gonna try not to disturb him too much as we do our testing here with our SwitchBot switches. So I'm gonna go ahead and try out the left hand curtain that we just programmed the button for right here. Left hand close button. We'll go ahead and press it. Pretty responsive guys. Pretty good. Let's try the middle one. Close button. Now notice this one, the left hand one, didn't beep. I was expecting that beep. All right, we're going to try the right one and disturb Harley a little bit. Harley, watch out. Here we go. Press our right button close. See how that one beeped? All right, I'll open it back up. Wait there, Harley. All right, we'll open it back up with our right open button. Let's open the left one again. No beep. 
Maybe there's something within the app I'll have to check out to see if you want sound on or off. I kind of like the sound on because you, you know that you've activated something. And we'll go ahead and open up the middle ones now. Guys, so that's it. That's all I had to share with you today. The curtains are working out really well. One other thing is I did uh, mount the solar panels the day after I showed you that last video. They're working great. They're maintaining around 80 to 85 percent, getting just a little bit of sun. There's some palm trees right out this window, but it's, it gets some filtered sun to those uh, solar panels. Echo. Open bedroom shades. I'll show you how I mounted them. I didn't actually mount them on the switch bot with the little hanger built in. I mounted them, I taped them actually to the window glass. You see here, they're just taped up there. I'm right there and there. And see, they're getting some sun out there. So they have been charging, maintaining around 80%, 85%. So I'm happy with that. I was a little bit concerned because uh, this corner of our yard didn't get that much sun, but it's getting enough, so they do work. Echo. Set bedroom shades to 50%. Echo. Oh, there they go. Except for that one. There it goes. Ah, smart home products. You gotta love them or hate them. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you on the next one.